died. And tonight we have that exclusive video. Here's Global's Dave Crace. Here's my machine. What's left of it? Here's what I hit. And I was under there and my head sticking out right there. Except I couldn't get it out. Ken Killam of Barry Mills, New Brunswick, crashed his ATV shortly after 7 o'clock Saturday evening. He took out his video camera to record what he thought would be his final moments of life. Here's where I was coming from. Here's where I was going too, looking right into the sun. And I didn't see this. Didn't see this freaking hole. I thought I might go into shock at some point if I, if I didn't keep moving and if I went into shock and passed out. I want there to be some kind of a record of what happened up to at least that point. There's my wrist. Oh, man, it's hurting. Big time. Uh, ah. Killam was trapped for about 20 minutes under his ATV, but he somehow crawled out. My helmet saved my head from being crushed. Unfortunately, nothing stopped my arm from getting broken. Killam spent six hours in the woods. He used a cell phone to get help but his phone went dead. I tried to get some power out of the bike and I, I fiddled with the wiring and I managed to get the, the phone to charge, but I had to use, it would only give me so much length. And when I was down beside the bike trying to use the phone, I kept getting cut off. Firefighters and citizens had been searching on the ground for several hours for the victim, but they had no idea where he was. Then two student pilots from the Moncton Flight College climbed into the C-1 Eclipse aircraft and found him within a half hour. Rescuers were able to pinpoint the location of Killam's cell phone with the help of a global positioning device in the search plane. Killam also managed to light several fires, alerting the pilots. We just saw just a little glow on the ground and uh, we just saw like smoke coming out. So we figured that was got to be a fire and we, uh, we ha actually all the search and rescues were almost all surrounding him and we basically uh, tried to give coordinates to all the search and rescue on the ground. Well, we're all in the middle of our testing like for navigation and stuff anyway, so it wasn't hard to find and uh, it was nice that we were here to be able to go. Killam was picked up by a chopper and flown to waiting police cars. He suffered a badly broken arm, but is expected to make a full recovery. He has no plans to ride his ATV again. In Moncton, this is Global's Dave Crace reporting.